This is Twit. This is a great uh, tip, Rosemary. I have a trillion D apps on my phone because of a show I do called iOS Today. And I don't yep. use all of my apps and I would like to have more storage space on my device. Can you help me? Um, yes. Yes, I can, Micah. And so I'm just going to grab uh, one of the 8,001 apps that I'm not using. I'm just going to put it on my uh, home screen so I can demo two different ways to do this to people. Um, and there is a little bit of a caveat, as you will see. So first of all, if you want to offload a specific application, this means that the application will still be on your device. Like it's sitting there, so it's easy to get back, but it's not necessarily showing up on your home screen or in the app library. Yes, I have a lot of badges in there. That's okay. Then if you tap and hold on the app, then you can remove the app and you can either just remove it from your home screen, which kind of gets rid of it, or you can delete it entirely. And if you want to keep it around, you just don't want it on your home screen, then by all means, check it in the app library um, and, and remove it from your home screen. You will find uh, when when we go to remove, for example, the mail app, I can actually delete this one, but uh, I think there are some native Apple apps that you can't do that with. But in uh, my settings, and of course, if you're looking for one of these settings, this is another bonus tip for people and you can't remember where something is, don't forget there's a search function. I wanted to double check that offload unused apps is indeed under general storage. So I typed in off and here we are. Um, so here it's going to take a moment to load and it's going to go, hey, Rose, you've got a lot of data on your phone. Yes, I do, especially because I've recently downloaded a whole bunch of my music. Um, but if we scroll down in here, then we should get the option to offload unused apps. Um, and so if I scroll down to the bottom, then I've got a lot of apps with little clouds next to them because these ones aren't Is on my iPhone. Me? They've been offloaded. Um, and then I can tap on any individual app to offload it. So if I don't want these classic Mac stickers from Apple, then they can just go away. Um, and of course, it can automatically do this as well. Um, and there is indeed a setting for that. And I want to say that that is not under storage. Um, so uh, there we go. Sorry, I'm having a notification pop up. Uh, so if I just type in offload again, then it should show me the other place in the setting where this is. And if we pop it into the App Store, then you can see there's a toggle here for offload unused apps. And this will automatically get those apps off of your iPhone um, when you are running out of storage space. And iOS tries to be smart about this. It uses those apps or it gets rid of those apps that you have used less frequently. Um, and things like, for example, those apps that maybe you downloaded once because you needed to get into a restaurant somewhere um, and that's how they were doing the ordering system. And then so you downloaded it, but you've not used it in six months. Well, that's going to be one well of the first to go when your iPhone starts running out of storage space. So to download or re-download one of these um, apps, of course, under in the settings, if you look under storage, then you can find those offloaded apps and you can see all of them right at the bottom of this list. If you scroll down, I mean, your list, if you don't host iOS today, is probably going to be a little bit shorter. Um, and it will also show you, for example, under highlights, it shows last used because I actually used that on this device. Um, and so therefore more recently than some of the others, which just don't have that data associated with it. So if I look at this, then I can tap here to reinstall the app. But if I search for an app um, and I search for, say, PDF Expert, then you'll see here there's a cloud icon as well. And just tapping on that will immediately start to re-download it, um, which, of course, gives me the option to, uh, you know, just sit there and wait for a moment. And then everything will be back to normal in no time at all. Yay!